Imagine a futuristic city in Africa designed to rival Dubai and Singapore, a city with cutting-edge technology, world-class infrastructure, and endless opportunities. This isn't just a vision. It's Nigeria's Centenary City, an ambitious $18.5 billion project in the making. Centenary City is Nigeria's ambitious plan for a self-sustaining, world-class metropolis. Located near Abuja's airport, the project envisions a modern city with cutting-edge residential areas, business districts, retail centers, and recreational spaces. Designed with advanced infrastructure, smart city technology, and top-tier amenities, it aims to attract global investors and drive economic transformation. Stick around as we dive into Centenary City's origins, innovative design, economic impact, challenges, and future prospects. In 2014, as Nigeria marked its 100th anniversary, the government sought a bold way to commemorate the milestone. This vision gave rise to Centenary City, a futuristic metropolis designed to reflect Nigeria's progress and ambition. More than just a real estate project, it aims to become a modern hub that can rival global cities like Dubai and Singapore. Spanning approximately 1,260 hectares, Centenary City is designed as a smart city that seamlessly integrates advanced technology, sustainable infrastructure, and a blend of business, residential, and entertainment zones. The vision is to create a world-class environment where people can live, work, and unwind. Inspired by the success of global financial hubs, the project aims to attract investors and drive economic growth in Nigeria. One of the biggest advantages of the city will be its free trade zone status, offering tax breaks, duty-free imports, and flexible banking rules. This idea encourages both local and international companies to set up operations in Nigeria. However, Centenary City will not be just about business. It's also meant to become a cultural landmark that will preserve Nigeria's history while embracing the future. In short, it's a bold vision to transform Nigeria's landscape, strengthen its economy, and showcase its potential to the world. Now, before we go further, let me tell you that this isn't the only construction project with marvelous engineering. On this channel, I explore some of the most incredible builds around the world, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay updated. The city's master plan will emphasize a clear urban structure with well-defined neighborhoods, promoting a secure and high-quality environment through sustainable design. The central core will be designated for corporate and commercial buildings, featuring a concentration of mixed-use mid-rise and high-rise structures. Surrounding this business nucleus will be residential and service areas, ensuring a balanced distribution of living and commercial zones. Centenary City will boast world-class amenities designed to elevate the quality of life for both residents and visitors. Its residential areas will offer a diverse range of housing options, including luxury villas, apartments, and eco-friendly homes, catering to various lifestyles while promoting sustainable living. Commercial and financial centers will feature grade A office spaces and a central business district, designed to attract multinational corporations and drive economic growth. Hospitality and retail establishments, such as world-class hotels and the Mall of Nigeria, will offer an extensive range of international brands, entertainment, and dining options. Recreational facilities will include an 18-hole golf course, a polo and country club, and a safari park, providing diverse leisure activities. The Africa Tower, set to be the tallest of its kind in Africa, will house luxurious apartments and premium office spaces, serving as a centerpiece of the city. Centenary City will be committed to sustainable urban development, balancing economic, social, cultural, and environmental factors to achieve harmonious growth. The city will incorporate state-of-the-art infrastructure, including modern transportation networks, smart technologies, and high-speed internet, ensuring seamless connectivity. A gas-fired 500-megawatt power plant connected directly to a gas terminal will guarantee a constant power supply, supporting the city's energy needs. Environmental considerations will be integral to the city's design, with a natural buffer enveloping the entire area to protect and nurture its surroundings. The development will aim for zero waste management by utilizing domestic waste to create nutrient-rich soil, fertilizer, and additional power sources through incineration. Centenary City's design and features will reflect a forward-thinking approach to urban development. By integrating modern infrastructure with sustainable practices and cultural preservation, the city will create a vibrant, self-sustaining community that redefines urban living in Africa. Centenary City is set to be a major driver of economic growth, attracting foreign direct investment. Designed as a global business hub, it'll bring in multinational corporations, financial institutions, and technology firms, 
fostering trade, innovation, and entrepreneurship. The project is expected to create over 150,000 construction jobs and 250,000 permanent roles across various sectors, including finance, technology, real estate, hospitality, and retail. The construction phase will employ engineers, architects, and laborers, while the completed city will provide stable job opportunities in various industries. Beyond job creation, Centenary City will transform Abuja's economic landscape by decentralizing business activities, easing congestion in the capital, and promoting a knowledge-based economy. Its financial districts, research centers, and innovation hubs will drive advancements in technology and entrepreneurship, reinforcing Nigeria's position as a growing economic powerhouse. Despite its ambitious vision, Centenary City has faced significant challenges that have impacted its progress. The project was inaugurated in 2014, but progress has remained slow. In 2024, Senate reviews reported that less than 7% of the infrastructure had been completed. But what are the actual challenges that are delaying this project? One of the main obstacles has been administrative and regulatory delays. The approval process for such a large-scale project involves multiple government agencies, each with its own requirements and bureaucratic hurdles. The complexities of zoning laws, environmental regulations, and urban planning approvals have contributed to prolonged decision-making and slowed-down development. Land acquisition has been another major hurdle. Some areas designated for the project were already occupied, leading to disputes over ownership and compensation. The resettlement of affected communities required careful negotiation to ensure fairness and compliance with legal frameworks. Delays in resolving these issues affected the project's ability to begin construction on schedule. Funding has also been a critical challenge. While Centenary City is designed as a private sector-driven initiative, attracting continuous investment has been difficult due to economic fluctuations and changing government policies. Investor confidence has been affected by concerns over infrastructure development, security, and long-term economic stability. Global financial shifts, fluctuating oil prices, and currency exchange rates have also played a role in influencing the pace of funding. Infrastructure development within and around Centenary City has required extensive planning. The city's success depends on seamless connectivity, requiring well-developed road networks, utilities, and reliable power supply. Delays in infrastructure projects outside the city, such as expressways and public transport links, have slowed overall progress. Political transitions have also influenced the project's trajectory. Initially launched during the administration of President Goodluck Jonathan in 2014, the project has experienced shifts in priority with changes in leadership. Policy adjustments, leadership restructuring, and evolving government priorities have created periods of uncertainty, affecting investor confidence and project momentum. Despite setbacks, efforts are underway to overcome challenges. Government agencies and investors are resolving land issues, improving policies, and attracting investment. Infrastructure development, including roads, utilities, and power, is progressing. Strategic partnerships with global firms and financial institutions aim to secure funding, keeping Centenary City on track to become a world-class urban hub. As of 2025, Centenary City has made notable strides towards becoming a reality. One of the most significant milestones is the commencement of the Grove, the city's first major co-development project. This marks a crucial step in transforming the vision into a fully functional urban hub. Primary infrastructure, including road networks, drainage systems, and utility connections, has reached substantial completion. These foundational developments lay the groundwork for large-scale construction, ensuring that future residential, commercial, and recreational spaces can be seamlessly integrated into the city's master plan. The progress so far signals a strong commitment from investors and developers, reinforcing confidence in the project's potential. With ongoing advancements in infrastructure and key developments taking shape, Centenary City is steadily moving toward its goal of becoming a world-class smart city and major economic powerhouse in Africa. With a focus on innovation, green spaces, and advanced technology, Centenary City is positioned to become one of Africa's leading urban developments. The city's long-term vision extends beyond Nigeria, serving as a blueprint for similar large-scale projects across the continent. By demonstrating how modern design can be merged with cultural identity, it has the potential to inspire future urban centers. Its financial districts, innovation hubs, and lifestyle destinations are expected to attract multinational corporations, high net worth individuals, and international investors, reinforcing Nigeria's status as an economic powerhouse. 
The project's success will depend on continuous collaboration between the government and private investors. Key milestones such as the completion of primary infrastructure and the ongoing construction of the Grove signal steady progress. However, challenges related to infrastructure expansion, investor confidence, and regulatory support must be addressed to maintain momentum. If momentum continues, Centenary City could see major phases between 2025 and 2030, though full completion remains uncertain due to past delays. If successfully executed, it'll stand as a symbol of progress, innovation, and economic transformation for Nigeria and Africa. Centenary City stands as a visionary project celebrating Nigeria's centenary by shaping a futuristic urban hub. With its innovative design, economic potential, and cultural significance, it reflects the nation's drive for progress and modern development. As this ambitious project moves forward, it's set to transform Abuja's skyline and set new standards for sustainable urban growth in Africa. What do you think? Will Centenary City become a model for future cities on the continent? Share your thoughts in the comments.